the question here is how much of this uh, is politics, a, a little bit of political theater. Uh, Devin Nunes has. Right, let's, 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 let's. So now we get into the character assassination of Devin Nunes. Let me ask you folks this. Wouldn't you like to read the document that kicked all this off and know what's in it? This guy is a top editor for the Wall Street Journal on the news side. Does he sound curious to you? Like he wants to know about it? No, he's jumping right into the politics of it. Neither does this lady who works for Fox. Does she seem curious about it? No, not at all. They jump right to the politics around this. Well, who cares what the politics is around this? I would like to see this, wouldn't you? I would like to see the arguments made for kicking off the Russian investigation, given all we know now, all we know about Stroke and Page and McCabe and Comey and all the rest of them, the context is important. They've interviewed his staff. They've interviewed the campaign people. They've interviewed all kinds of people, dozens and dozens, scores and scores of people. They've had thousands and thousands of pages of documents. They've looked at emails. They've looked at texts. So they know in their mind what they want to do. They know where they want to go. The President of the United States was a candidate. He meets thousands of people. He doesn't remember every detail. And that's the problem. They're going to have all the details after the fact. They're going to piece them together to the extent that they think they are. And then they're going to sit down with the president, whose memory is ambiguous about so much of this stuff, because he, he's a candidate. He can't be involved in all the, the, uh, the, the weeds and the intrigue and so forth. And that's how you trip somebody up. If the president of the United States is in the tank for Russia, as we've been told now for, what, two years? Well, why would we be doing any of this? Why would we be doing any of this? Because he's never been in the tank for Russia, and he's not in the tank for Russia. It's the Democrats who've always been in the tank for Russia. It's Obama who was in the tank for Russia. It's Obama and the Democrats who eviscerated the United States military while Russia was rebuilding its military. It's Obama and the Democrats that didn't lift a finger when the Russians moved into Syria. And I could go on and on. It's Obama and the Democrats who didn't lift a finger uh, when Putin and the Russians moved into the Arctic. Um, so who's in the tank? It sounds to me the Democrats are in the tank. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.